Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and of course this is a uh, little video about uh, the future of Windows 10. We talked about it a little bit yesterday because we were getting very very close to 19H2 which will probably be called the October 2019 update. That is in a few weeks time. Um, even some speculation that insiders might even get it next week. So it gives you an idea of how close we are. Um, so what is the timeline of Windows 10 now? Well, we learned something, um, a little something new this week about um, a future version of Windows 10. So once again, the timeline, and um, a lot of you want to know a little bit where we are at. Uh, no, no Windows 11. Don't think about that. It's not happening. We are on Windows 10, and we're continuing the Windows 10 operating system. Uh, once again, for people that say, well, when will it be finished? It's not like that that it works. Windows 10 is a operating system that constantly evolves. It's not like, uh, you know, Windows 7 that had a definite version that, definitive version that that's it. Uh, this is not happening with Windows 10. So we are at the May 2019 update. The last statistics show that uh, more than one third of all of you now are on the May 2019 update. And that is probably uh, going quite fast in making it even more prevalent, uh, especially for most of you that are on the April 2018 update. I see a lot of post people saying, hey, I got that uh, 1903 pushed on me without any possibility of, uh, you know, saying no. And yeah, the April 2018 update, if you're on that version, you're being offered this because your April 2018 update is going to expire in November. And we're getting close to November here. Now, the next version of Windows 10 is 19H2, still no official name, but probably October 2019 update. That is coming in a month's time for most people. So uh, you will have that appear sometime in October as an optional update. Of course, it's a cumulative update, so it's a small update. It's not like the big updates like 1903 is. And we talked about it yesterday. Then, of course, we will go to 2020. So what's going to happen in 2020 is interesting. First of all, January 14, 2020, last security updates for Windows 7. Starting from there, no more support. So this means you got to have to do something. You got to have a choice. You continue using a unsecure Windows. You upgrade to Windows 10. You change your PC, whatever you decide. That is coming up. And it's going to, of course, arrive at the moment where um, a new version of Windows 10 a major version is going to appear somewhere in March or April, which is the May, uh, the May, the uh, 20H1 version of Windows 10. So that is going to possibly be available somewhere, you know, in March, April, or May of 2020, and that will contain several new features uh, that we are testing right now. So lots of little things improved here and there, and lots of changes. Uh, that is a major version, will be a big version to, of course, install once again. Once again, not being forced on you, it's going to be an optional download and update. Remember that if you're on a version that is getting close to the 18-month cycle, that is when versions are pushed on you. So, for example, April 2018 uh, updates are now being pushed towards May 2019. That means when we get to the first version of 2020, 20H1, uh, if you're on the this 20H1 version or the May 2019 update, um, you're okay. But if you're on the October 2018 update, you're going to be asked to go on to 20H1. You're getting close to that 18-month cycle. So that's the way that it works uh, after you know the, the more the longest you can actually keep a Windows 10 version is 18 months because it expires after 18 months so you can wait 18 months but it's going to eventually be pushed on you if you're on the October 2018 update now we've learned this week a little something new so uh, Windows versions have code names and 20H1 which is the first version of 2020 has code name Vibranium and now we learned of a new code name and also a little bit of details. Well, not a lot, actually, no details at all except the code name 
and that it's going to be something that's going to arrive, we learned that 20H2 has been announced as codename Manganese. So um, that is going to be at the end of next year, 2020. So once again, we continue to see that Windows 10 is continued to be worked on and, um, you know, uh, they are doing new things. That version, we don't really know exactly how it's going to appear on your computer. So this year we've got a big update, May 2019, and a small update, which is a cumulative update for 28, for uh, 19H2, which is coming in a few weeks. Next year, we don't know. Is it going to be two major updates? Or is it going to be simply the same thing as this year? One major update, 20H1 in the early 2020, and a cumulative update for a smaller update at the end. We don't know. Microsoft doesn't say anything about that. So it could be two major updates, which would be sad because I think everybody agrees upon one thing. The way that this year it's happening, a big update and a cumulative update for a smaller update, it's probably perfect in what people want, but um, you know, with Microsoft, you never know, and we don't have any details on that. But the March to Windows 10 future is going on, so now we know that um, it's official for, of course, 19H2 coming up in a few weeks. It's official for 20H1 early 2020, and it now seems official for 20H2 end of 2020. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.